It is now November, and according to the old proverb, let the thresher take his flail and the ship no more sail, for the high winds and the rough seas will try the ribs of the ship and the hearts of the sailors. Now come the country people all wet to the market, and the toiling carriers are pitifully moiled. The young hern and the shouldered are now fat for the great feast, and the woodcock begins to make toward the cock shoot. The warreners now begin to ply their harvest, and the butcher, after a good bargain, drinks a health to the grassier. The cook and the comfit maker make ready for Christmas, and the minstrels in the country beat their boys for false fingering. Scholars, before breakfast, have a cold stomach to their books, and a master without art is fit for an ABC. A red herring and a cup of sack make war in a weak stomach, and the poor man's fast is better than the glutton's surfeit. Trenchers and dishes are now necessary servants, and a lock to the cupboard keeps a bit for need. Now begins the goshawk to weed the wood of the pheasant, and the mallard loves not to hear the bells of the falcon. The winds now are cold, and the air chill, and the poor die through want of charity. Butter and cheese begin to raise their prices, and kitchen stuff is a commodity that every man is not acquainted with. In sum, with a conceit of the chilling cult of it, I thus conclude in it, I hold it the discomfort of nature and reason's patience. Farewell.